In today's video, I talk about the secrets of the Divi full width header. If you're new to web design, I have a free course that will teach you how to get up and running with web design. All right, let's get started. So here I have Divi installed. So I'm going to start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm just going to call this Mac and then click on use Divi Builder. All right, so what we need to do now is to add our full width header. So I'm going to click on this plus button, click on full width. So here we have several options. You can see here we have full width image, we have full width menu and so on. But what we need here is the full width header. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. So for now, I'm just going to say save and then just drag it to the top. Because ideally, your full width header needs to be right at the top, not somewhere in the middle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and customize this further. So you want to click here on this gear icon to go into the settings of our full width header settings. I'm going to click here to set it to the side so I can see everything that I'm working on. The next step now is to come over here to design, layout, and we are going to make this full screen because this is how it best shows as we're using this for our design. So now that we have this, the next step now is to add our content. So this is where you can decide what text you want to add over here on the title and also on the description. So I've gone ahead and added all my text. So you can see here I have my title, subtitle, and I also have my body text. But the problem is I want this text to be a bit smaller. So what you need to do now is to go in and customize this one by one. So I'm going to start here with this main header here. And I'm going to make it all caps, reduce the size to 1EM. And I'm going to add some letter spacing. So let's go with 8. Now I want this to be the main title, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And let's set this to 2.2 EM. There we go, we're going to make it bold. In fact, we may even go up at maybe 2.6 EM. And then finally, we have our description text. And again, I'm going to set this at 1.2 EM. So now that we have this, all I need to do now is to add my line height. So I'm going to increase it here until I'm happy with that. So let's go with 1.4. And then we're going to come over here as well to our main title text. And let's increase this to about 1.8. And this top one here is OK. We can further now customize the button by coming over here. And then you need to activate Use Custom Styles for Button. Right, so with that set, all I have to do now is to choose my colors. So my text color is going to be light. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then my background color is going to be, let's go with this color here. And that's going to be the border as well. So now that I have this all set, I can now decide whether I'm going to have this centered or set to the left. So for this design, I want everything centered. So I'm going to go ahead and center it. All right, great. So now let me share the secret with you. So when most people design this, they go ahead and add the image right in the section. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm just going to save this for now and then come over here to my section settings. So mostly they come over here to the background and then add their background color like that, add their image over here. But the problem with that is we are lacking in a few features. So what you want to do is to come over here to this uh, full width header settings and then scroll all the way down to background. So this is where you can change your background color or you can add your image. So what I'm going to do here is to delete this background color, come over here to my image and set my background image. So the image I'm going to go with is this one right here. Click on upload image and pretty much I'm good. I have my image, but we have a problem. When we look at this, it is too cluttered. We can't really, uh, really read the text behind uh, the image. So what we need to do is to add an overlay to our image. But check this out. This is where you need to add the overlay. If I come over here to design, you notice that we have this option for overlay. And what I like about this is we can choose any color to add here. So we can start off with a dark color. And then all I have to do is to add a bit of transparency. So if I click over here, I can just drag the slider just a little bit and look at that. Now my overlay is working. But the cool thing, as I mentioned, is I can actually come over here and choose a totally different color. Look at that. So if this is the style that you want to go with, this pretty much works. And especially if you're designing a website here, which is food related, uh, this color here works great. But of course, if it's something else, maybe it's a holiday or it's a totally different website or, to or totally different image, you can add this blue tint and you can see my overlay here is looking great. 
Now, this is going to make your main hero area look amazing because these blending mode or this overlay is fantastic. Now, just look at that. I mean, it works with pretty much any color, as I mentioned. If I add this one here or that, I mean, it pretty much works. But I tend to lean more on to this one here and then maybe add a bit more like that. Okay, so all you have to do now is to save. Finally, you want to make sure that it looks great on all devices because you, uh, this is also very, very important. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to come over here to these three little dots. Click here in the middle one. This is my tablet view. So as you can see here, my line height is way too much over here. Let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to click back in here and I'm going to go to this t particular text here and reduce the line height. So I want to make sure that I've chosen the right item here. So it's set to 1.8. So let's try 1.2. Okay, that looks much better. I might as well even go with 1.1. So as you can see, that's looking great. If I need to change the size, I can also come over here. Make sure you click on this little icon. And now with the size selected, I can just bring it down a little bit to maybe, I would go with 2.4. I mean, the rest is okay. I mean, the line height here is fine. Over here, it's fine. And finally, we just need to go to the mobile device. And here again, we can see our text here is way too big. So let's reduce this a little bit, maybe down to about 1.4. And over here, I need to add a bit of line height. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's change this. Oops. I have to click on this little icon and on the line height. Let's set this to 1 and maybe 1.4. So that looks much better. And then over here on this text, I can reduce the line height. First of all, I need to click over here and then let's reduce it. Okay, let's go with 1.3 and pretty much we are looking good. So if we go to the different mobile uh, screens, this is now looking great. I'm going to save that and there we go. Oops. This is my final design. As you can see, the overlay is the tip here. Don't use the overlay in the actual section settings because you won't get similar results as to what we've got here. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.